coming from Esquimalt Road right back to Carlisle. And all of this space in here. Barb Desjardins, who's been criticized for stalling a regional sewage system. These trees will remain is selling her vision of plans for Esquimalt's own sewage system. Are you confident that uh, people in Esquimalt are going to be okay with this idea? You know, I haven't heard anyone that's expressed uh, concern yet. And if they do, we'll sit down and have the chat with them uh, so that they understand. Four acres in total. Redevelopment would take place behind City Hall and the Municipal Library, replacing this playground with a 12-story tower. A nine-story building will be built on this parking lot, residential and commercial tenants in both buildings. But the grand plan is for Esquimalt to build its own sewage treatment plant underneath. But I'm going to do everything I can to ensure that we have a good process in Esquimalt a good plan fairly quickly that will say yes this is a good idea go ahead or no it's not here right here yeah and and have the sewage treatment right here okay now why is that better than where it was down in mclaughlin I would like to know. Sandage councillor and CRD sewage director Ginny Brownoff says building a separate system isn't easy if it was everyone would do it Bear Mountain and West Hills have both looked at trying to do their own um, independent standalone facility, which we all support, but it's the regulator. You know, when you have to put in an outfall and you have to have a backup system, it gets to be costly. Esquimalt councillors all say they'll turn down a CRD offer to pay Esquimalt's $19 million share of the McLaughlin Point plant. But it's not clear if federal funding will be available to build the downtown plant.